welcome to this edition of Wahoo Live. My name's Wahoo Jacobs, host for your show. <sighs> this young lady walking in here is <sighs> Carrie Black, co-host with me. This, this crowd's very energetic. They're wearing me out. This is great. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. I'm Carrie Black. Good to have you along. This show, folks, is about the average golfer. So many shows are about uh, overindulging into more than what people want to hear. This show's really about the average golfer or maybe the physically challenged golfer, somebody that's having a tough time getting started or wanting to get started again. Yep. We're here to help and that's what this show is really about. Bringing golf to a level where everybody and anybody that can understand it will understand it. We make it simple, we make it fun, and Lord willing, they'll play just as good as they can. Well, Maureen in the crowd, she says she drives really well, Wahoo, okay. but her short game needs help. And we were talking because I feel the same way. Can you help us with that? Short game is a specialty. What we're looking at today is hitting some pitch shots. Oh, great. I need help. Okay, we're looking at 20, 40, 60 yard stuff right here, the scoring zone. And I think that might be falling in line with what you're looking at. Great. Think Let's go talk to her? Maureen. I think it'll be great. Let's do it. All right. Hey, Maureen. Your short game's bad, huh, girl? No, I could use a little help, but it's not that bad. Just a little bit. <laughs> be glad to help you. So, Maureen, we're going to do a little short game work. Okay, that's that good. Right? A little yeah. pitching, maybe a little 20, 40, 60 yard stuff. Sure. Comes in handy. Yes, it does. On a par five, looking at birdie. <laughs> Want to get it close? Well, the nerves start I'd, getting there. Oh my God, what do I do? Like to, yeah. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting closer. Oh, I got a club. <laughs> that's but, the hazard. Yeah, that's the hazard. It's the hazard of the game. In all honesty, the short game is only as tough as we want to make it. Okay, it really is. Generally, if you're in and around the green, you want to have a mindset that I can get it on, I can make the putt. Selecting the right club is a real important part of this game. It helps you to trust yourself a little bit, maybe. What do you think, Carrie? I, I think I need to trust myself more. I don't know how to select the right club. How about you, Maury? What's wrong with your short game? I all of it. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> but especially selecting the right club at the right time. Yeah, that's really a lot of it right there. If you're not sure what you're going to swing, you're not sure what's going to happen when it gets onto the green. So, in our short game, we need something that's going to give us loft. All right, way to practice, test your skill level, try lofted clubs. Nine irons, pitching wedges, sand wedges, gap wedges, that time. Anything to get it into the air where you can feel comfortable swinging and not being concerned about sculling it across the green. Anybody ever yes. scull one? Oh. Anybody ever do that? Yes. Oh. Yes. Built in racing stripes, gone, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> Help me, Wahoo! Help me, Wahoo! Yes. Okay. The setup is something that you want to feel that is natural based on your balance and center of gravity. Make sense? Yes. Okay. It does. And it's really that simple, okay? If I sit here and I stand in a very comfortable fashion, my feet are underneath my shoulders. We're not playing linebacker, right? Okay. Anybody play linebacker? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. For the Jets? <laughs> okay. Feet are under your shoulders. It's where we naturally stay. We walk, we stand here. This is where we're at. We're not quite as bouncy. Okay. However, you want to find that you're staying relatively tall. Sometimes people will tell you to choke down on a club. Don't choke the club. It doesn't like it. Neither will you. Oh. Ah, it forces you to oh. use all your arms. Don't choke. Down no choke club. in the club. Okay. Do you choke on the club? Because yeah. I do. Yes. Who else chokes the club? Frequently. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Does it help? <laughs> wow, we're already learning. Don't choke down on the club. Don't choke down on the Why club. Why is that, though? Reason being, if you start choking down on a club, guess where my balance went? Uh, Over here. Okay. Now I'm forced to use all arms. Very good. Makes all sense. Right. The golf swing is a total body experience. Total body. All right. It's not just your arms. It's not just the hips or any of these other fun things. Okay. Yeah. So if we're going to sit here, we're going to have a nice little pitching move. If I feel tall and relaxed, now I can turn my shoulders. Club swings pretty freely. Uh -huh. If it swings pretty freely, I can feel the weight. I can feel the shot. Make sense? Yes. All right. What do you think, folks? Good yeah. idea? You, got, you guys want to walk through to practice? Practice shots? Yeah. We want to see you. You want to see some shots? We want to see you, right, Maureen? Yes. All right. Well, I'll tell you shots. what, folks. <laughs> this sounds like a good thing. Okay. Hey, when we come back, we're going to take some demonstration shots right after break. Don't you miss it. And we're back here on Wahoo Live. We're here at uh, Pelican Point Golf and Country Club in beautiful Venice, Florida. These folks, home to play. You guys are too rowdy. 
Gotta love the point. Great place to be. Hey, before we took a break, we were talking about helping Maureen out with a little help from Carrie yes. on developing a little bit of help in the short game. We all need a little help. Yes. We all need a little help. Okay. Well, this is a beautiful thing. So let's give you a little help. Remember we talked before you had to have a belief system. And if you believe that you can do it, you're going to start the battle with the uh, proper armor. Yep. Okay. So let's go to the uh, let's go to the arsenal. Okay. Choosing the right club we talked about. Yep. Okay. For intent and purposes, right here we're looking at wedges. Okay. I know you have a pitching wedge and you have a sand wedge. And yep. I've got my trusty gap wedge. Got to love a gap wedge. Yeah. Wouldn't be without one. Okay. But the setup for this is really in part on how comfortable you are. Okay. You really have to be comfortable to swing a golf club. You get yourself where you feel like a twisted pretzel. You know throw your weight over here and you start feeling like this and you know they tell you to do this stuff here mm -hmm. before you know it you can't swing okay so the balance the center of gravity is very very important and if we have those two to start with the swing has a chance to evolve based on what you naturally feel is going to help you swing so again relaxing helps too relaxing be okay. cool don't get excited who's this, uh, anybody get excited out there swinging yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. excited yeah it's a terrible isn't it yeah. you can't swing the club be cool. Help, Help me, Wahoo! <laughs> okay, the setup is really basic. It's vanilla. It really is. Okay. okay. What we do is we really find ourselves. We're talking about hitting those 20-yard shots, maybe 40-yard shot. Okay. We set that ball up about center of our stance. That's where we find that these wedges have their peak efficiency. All right. We talked about the feet underneath the shoulders. Right. Where we have that balance established and center of gravity. What always starts club back is the upper body. We're going to turn the shoulders in a very gentle fashion. At no point in time, whether it's full swing or a little bit of short game stuff, do we try to erase the club back to this point. We gently take it back and then we allow it to come through. When you take the mindset of allowing, now you're giving yourself a chance to feel the swing. Golf is about feel, not about thought. What do you think, Maureen? I believe it. You believe it? <laughs> you have to show me, though. <laughs> we want to see you do it. You want to see me do it? Yeah, come on. Come on. Now i got to show you, don't I? This, so if we do the thing we were talking about as far as setting up in a very basic fashion, I'm going to swing in a way that allows me to feel comfortable. These are not full swings. The other thing you have to key in on when you're taking these shots, because it's short game, it's not full swing, you still have to swing this. Okay. Okay? Sound easy? Not really, does it? Because we're so darn close, and any club that we take on a full swing is going to go further. So you have to trust yourself that leap of faith, okay, that belief system, and take a swing through the ball, not a jab or a stab or a wish and a prayer at the ball, okay? Again, most average golfers, you know, we're not going to find ourselves on tour. Right. Right? But we want to have fun. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to, you know, you want to drop your scores a little bit, take your buddy's money. All right, this is a good place to start. Okay, let's take a little swing here. We're just going to set up, get nice and comfortable. Notice my arms are just hanging from my shoulders. They're not extended to where they're rigid, okay? okay. Relaxed. Also, another key point, hand pressure. Let it feel equal. Equal pressure on the hands, okay? Let it feel a little bit light. Not a death grip. A little light. Let's have a nice little swing. Let's take a look at it. Set up nice and comfortable. Back and through. Nice. Good job. Okay. Now, if you noticed, my whole body turned looking down the fairway down to the green. Okay. Did you notice that? Okay. You didn't notice we didn't find ourselves doing this number? Okay. That's an all arms type of thing. It's a setup for failure. The more you trust yourself and build your belief system, the better this gets. The better it gets. Okay. Let's try another one. Maybe go a little further? Again. Again. A little better? Okay. Did you make know? it look so easy. Well, it can be easy if you allow it. Okay. Okay. You notice I don't focus a lot on technique. Okay. Technique is important, but this game is so involved in how you physically feel, how you mentally think, how you emotionally feel. All right. Notice the same golfers aren't winning every week, both on men and women's tours. All right. Person that has the best mental game wins. Okay. Go out there, you got the same exact swing. Everybody? <laughs> not a chance. No way. Not a chance, right? Not every time either. Yeah. yeah. Not every time either, right? Some people got four or five swings for the same shot. <laughs> and they use them too. Maureen, I've ran my lips. I want to see you swing. 
Yeah, get up there, girl. Come on. <laughs> Can you do it? Ain't nothing to it. Yes, ma'am. What did you do? Nothing to it. You believe? I believe. Then I re tried to relax. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a stepping stone. It's a start. Okay. I know it sounds all Peter Pan and everything, but believe it or not, it's it's a reality as far as this game's concerned. Yeah. You got another good shot in you? I'll try. Oh, it's there. It really works, Wahoo. Yeah, it does. It's a beautiful wow. thing. That's great. Just give yourself a chance. It's okay. Who else gets nervous and tense out there? Oh my God! Right? And then you get somebody come along, they peel off a good shot, and you think you got to do the same thing. Yeah. It's playing your game. Nobody else's. This is your moment. It's nobody else's. Take the shot. All right. Very, very important in the short game. You've got to take your time and your moment. Want to try it again? Why not? It can be as good as the first one or better. Just take your time. That a girl. That a girl. We're getting air time. Maureen, you did well. Thanks for giving us a, a little demonstration of the skills that you have. They're there. Thanks for the help, Wahoo. Oh, you're very welcome. What do you think, Carrie? Give her a little help. Oh, I think she did great. I learned something too. What do you think, gang? Yeah. Thanks, Wahoo. You are so very welcome. Thank you. I want to thank you all for watching this evening. We had a great time bringing you the show Wahoo Live from Pelican Point in Venice, Florida. We hope you all come back. Carrie, you coming back with me? I am. You can't keep me away. Folks, we'll see you again on Wahoo Live here in Venice, Florida. Yay!